We all know that Medusa had the ability to turn anyone who sees her into stone. But why exactly? You're not alone if you experience this moment when you're so scared during a horror movie that you couldn't move, as if you were glued to your seat. That heart-pounding moment when you want to run or scream, but you're just frozen. That's the freeze response or response tonic immobility in action. A real knee-knocking reaction our bodies have when faced with a scare that just seems too big to handle. But let's take a step back into Greek mythology for a moment, to where fear turning you stone cold still isn't just a metaphor. It's literal, thanks to a notorious, some say the most innocent character, Medusa. In fact, Medusa was not the only one with snakes for hair. She had two immortal siblings, Stheno and Uriel, making her the only one who could be killed. Together with the Graiae sisters and other deep sea creatures, they were the children of Forces and Cedo, the ancient gods of sea monsters. Our story begins when Medusa was still a young, beautiful maiden, with hair lovelier than any. She served as a priestess in the temple of Athena, the goddess of wisdom and strategic warfare, where she took a vow to live a life of celibacy. Her beauty, however, caught the eye of Poseidon, the big brother of Zeus and the powerful god of the sea. One day, Poseidon, overtaken by his desire for Medusa, disregarded the sanctity of Athena's temple and seduced her. This act enraged Athena, but instead of directing her wrath towards Poseidon, Athena punished Medusa, transforming her into a monstrous creature. This transformation gave Medusa serpentine locks and a gaze that turned onlookers to stone, a fate Athena deemed fit for her desecration of the temple. Now a monster, Medusa was banished to live at the ends of the earth, where she could no longer harm or be harmed by those who once admired her. There, isolated and alone, Medusa became the subject of tales and challenges. Many warriors sought to end Medusa's life, dreaming of glory and fame for accomplishing such a feat, yet all failed, turned to stone by her powerful gaze. The hero Perseus, a son of Zeus, was the one who ultimately confronted Medusa. Tasked by King Polydectes, who secretly desired to be rid of him, Perseus was sent on a seemingly impossible quest to bring back the head of Medusa. To aid in this perilous journey, Perseus received gifts from the gods, winged sandals from Hermes for flight, a helm of darkness from Hades to render him invisible, and a reflective shield and sword from Athena. Guided by these divine tools, Perseus embarked on his quest. He reached the home of the Gorgons, where Medusa resided with her sisters. Using the reflective shield as his guide to avoid Medusa's petrifying gaze, Perseus moved stealthily. With a swift motion, he used his sword to behead Medusa while she slept, capturing her head in a sack. The moment Medusa was slain, Pegasus, a winged horse, and Chrysaor, a giant wielding a golden sword, sprang forth from her neck, born of her blood and Poseidon's lineage. Perseus then used Medusa's head as a powerful weapon on his journey back, turning his enemies to stone. Upon returning, Perseus handed Medusa's head to Athena, who affixed it to her shield, the Aegis. This act was adopted by many soldiers who adorned their own shields with the image of Medusa's head, hoping to encapsulate the immense power and protection it symbolized. Thus, the freeze response is our body's way of playing dead or becoming so still that we might not attract further attention from whatever is scaring the bejesus out of us. It's rooted in our ancient survival instincts. When our brain decides that fighting or fleeing isn't the best option, it hits the pause button, making us go as still as a statue. This could have been useful back in the day when hiding from predators was a regular part of life. Unlike Medusa's victims, we're not turned to stone. It's just our body's ancient way of trying to protect us, even if it's from the horrors on a movie screen rather than those lurking in Greek myths.